written from Israeli history to Israeli culture. Joining me, our culture correspondent, Daniel Campos. Thanks for being with us. Hello, Jeff. All right, so we're in the dog days of summer. A lot of cultural activities, a lot of bands and music acts, of course, coming to Israel now. A lot of huge acts for this July. Let's start out talking about Sunday, Ozzy Osbourne farewell tour. And, you know, he's going to be joined by his family on this trip. His son and daughter really wanted to see Israel. Sharon is also half Jewish. And, uh, well, it's going to be a family trip. And we're going to have this amazing performance. I'd imagine, I mean, for Ozzy Osbourne being here, it'll be a massive show. Indeed, and it's going to be at, uh, it's called the Live uh, Theater in Rishon Lezion. Okay, and then another major concert that's coming up. Indeed, Carlos Vives, a superstar from Colombia. He's in Colombia. He's at the same level of Shakira in his popularity. Okay. And uh, he's going to be performing here July 31st at Menora Miftahin. It's also going to be sold out. Israelis have a love affair with Latin music. We've spoken about this before. Yeah, it's more than 10,000 people coming to see this Colombian star. Indeed, and Idan Reichel is going to be joining him on stage for one song. Is this his first time in Israel? Has he expressed the desire to come here in the past? He came here be before as a tourist. It was uh, a very interesting program which brings Latin or Hispanic celebrities to Israel on trips. It's called Visit Israel. Okay. So he was only here as a tourist. He got to see Jerusalem, the Sea of Galilee. Now he's coming to perform. So he was here as a tourist, got to see the sights, now coming as a professional. Excited to be back, I'm sure. Lucky, indeed. All right, and then another big act, again, this month. Ziggy Marley, let's not forget his wife is Israeli, Orly Marley, Yemenite Israeli. They actually they wrote a, an interesting cookbook together about Rastafarian and Jewish food, which happened to be quite similar. Uh, and, uh, well, we can say this is Ziggy's, not, not his first time. He's been here many, many times. And this concert, two concerts, one at the Barbie Theater in Tel Aviv on the 31st of July and August 1st at the beautiful Amfi Shuni Theater. All right, so we have Ozzy Osbourne, an American star, a Colombian Latin American star. Uh, Ziggy Marley, of course, the huge star of, across the world, you know, American Caribbean. What does it say about bringing these acts to Israel and why the BDS movement gets some acts to cancel, but perhaps not these acts? Well, and like I said, if you if you were to see the, pre, the we can say the press conference Sharon Osbourne gave about the farewell tour, she was asked like, why why don't you guys uh, are you being pressured to cancel your show in Israel? And she said, I am half. I'm a half Hebrew. We're not canceling our show in Israel. I'm proud to go there uh, to, and to perform in Israel with Ozzy. And then we have also the case of Ziggy. His wife is Israeli. I don't see any chances of that canceling. He's also a uh, Jamaican. Reggae musicians have a strong connection to Zion, uh, to the land of Israel. They have many uh, cultural and also historical connections to this land. And when it comes to Colombian, Colombia has great relations with Israel, also culturally. Maluma, the biggest reggaeton star of the moment, just performed in front of 60,000 people uh, about a week, even less than a week ago, at uh, actually Ayarcon Park. So, I mean, we have massive stars performing here. Uh, we can say the big stars are not canceling. Yeah. This is a fact.